This is Bad Head. A segment here at A Dose of Buckley where I take various headlines from newspapers and news sites throughout the world and then make some sort of awful joke about it. I dropped this segment three years ago. Why is it back now? Well, because it's my channel, I can do whatever the fuck I want with it, that's why. Here we go, it's Bad Head. Headlines from July 14th through the 21st, 2013. From CNN. Obese Boy Scouts banned from outing. Banned? Why? You always take a fat kid camping with you. That way if a bear comes, everyone else gets away. And as a reward, you can give them posthumous merit badges for helping to feed wild creatures. From Billboard.com. Corey Monteith's death shocks Glee family. What? Taking too much heroin can kill you? I'm so shocked. I'll just stick to cocaine instead. In a similar story from the New York Times, Fox says Glee season delayed by Monteith death. I imagine they'll have to take out that scene where he was tying off in the school bathroom before the big sing-off. That's probably in poor taste now. From NME, former HMV worker opens music store called HVM. I'm sure the former employee plans to run his store better and go out of business even faster than HMV did. From the Chicago Sun-Times, Obama makes surprise statement on Trayvon Martin. The surprise? No, Trayvon. I am your father. From the Washington Post, Gallup student poll measures hope, engagement, well-being. Maybe instead of giving a shit about any of that hippie nonsense, they should try measuring whether or not they can fucking read. From The Guardian, organist killer will serve 25 years. While in prison, he'll have a chance to learn an instrument of his own, the skin flute. From the London Free Press, driver ticketed in fatal Middlesex Centre crash. In London, Ontario, apparently vehicular homicide is only a $200 fine. From the CBC, members of parliament to reconvene to talk railway safety. What year is this? Hopefully during that meeting, they can also discuss whether or not to move forward with prohibition and women's suffrage. From CTV News, Tim Hortons apologizes for blocking gay news website on its Wi-Fi. To be fair to Tim Hortons, though, they probably just assumed all the homosexuals went to Starbucks. From Yahoo News Canada, is Detroit bankruptcy a warning sign for Canadian border cities? Yes. Yes, it is. Sarnia and Windsor, watch out. Detroit's going to come over and ask to borrow 50 bucks and tell you that they'll pay you back at the end of the month when the government check comes in. And finally, from the LA Times, Comic-Con 2013. Kick-Ass 2 and Riddick panel packed with action. This is, of course, in stark contrast to the hotel rooms of the people visiting Comic-Con, which are seeing no action whatsoever. Well, aside from that one guy who brought his Sailor Moon real doll with him. And they say there's no such thing as bad head. <laughs>